Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to teach you today how to port SFM models to Blender. It's actually pretty easy and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a tool called Crowbar. It's right here. Uh, down the link for the tools will be in the description. But you will need this to basically move, the, change the model to what you want it, basically. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to where the SFM model is. If you are on Windows, I mean, and you've, yeah, you got SFM. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go into your Steam directory. Right here, I got Steam. So Steam apps, common, uh, SFM, game. Uh, workshop, so obviously if you downloaded it already to SFM, then yeah, it'll be here. So you're going to need to be careful about these two models and materials. These are the textures and these are the models. So you go to models. I'm going to be doing Red Knight here, so it's my plus 96 for Fortnite. Uh, which one do I do? Black Knight or Red Knight? I'll do Black Knight. Uh, and you get this little thing here. So you're going to want to open up. And then you're going to put where you want to extract it. I've already extracted it into this folder here. Basically, extract it. So, yeah, once you've done that, just click right, right here. And then, uh, should be good. Deacon path, that's it. Now for the textures, you're going to need a program called VTF Edit. Don't worry, they'll also be in the description. So what you're going to do now, is you're going to get that open. And you're going to have to find the VMT slash VTF. You already know where this is, obviously I told you before, in the Steam part. So I'm just going to go get that thing and put it right here. And then materials, models, and then whatever the same is, so plus or six, Fortnite. Uh, black Knight I'm doing right, I'm doing Black Knight right, yeah I'm doing Black Knight. So there you go, you got all these. So obviously, actually, an easy method to do it, I'm doing one by one, is convert folder, convert folder, so input folder is going to be find the folder. So I'm going, okay, yo, yo, it's, yo, yo, done it for me. Uh, yeah, right here, that is the input folder, and the output folder is right here well oh, I've saved it where I've wanted it to go remember that though it should be yeah I put it blended textures so now you're gonna want to put it to T2 and then TGA and it should be uh, dot that, that that should be default and then click convert I've done it again so I'm not gonna do it again obviously so now you have these two you're good to go okay now I am in an older version of blender uh, 2.79 I found this worked better for me for some reason, don't know why, but this this worked better for me. So uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to File, Import, Source Engine right here. And then what you want to go to is go to where you extracted the models. So let me have to extract some of my other thing, Black Knight, yeah okay I extracted it right here. So it should be this one here. Uh, dot QC. Import. That will obviously do its stuff. And now bang, it's imported. So now I don't really do the other steps in uh, in blend in this version. Uh, I normally just save it here. Save as. And then open it in to the latest version of Blender, which I have right here. I don't know. I still prefer this. So I'm pretty sure. Let's check. This should be the one that's not textured. No, it is. It is textured. Okay, so now I have got the version that is not got all the textures on. I'm just gonna delete the stuff I don't want. So this, this has got it's got the shield as well. Uh, it depends on who poured it in SFM. Uh, you should be good. So yeah, now we've got this. This is the thing. So now what you're gonna go is shading. So there is no shading tab here, so general and shading. I'm also going to put layout as well, just yeah, so shading. Now if you ported before, just normal models, uh, it's the same from here out, pretty much. So you're going to have the textures, you're going to black knight, go to textures, and then obviously there's no texture set. So use nodes, use nodes, use nodes. Um, I'm going to do one of them, I'm going to do the body, and then you can copy the steps for the rest. So, what you're going to need to do now is get the textures and put them right here, it should help you out. 
So let me just find textures real quick. So now that you've done that and you have your textures, what you're going to do is move the textures to where they belong. So what you're going to need to do is get the main body. So where the, okay, actually the textures should be the VTF thing that you that you done. So I'll I'll show you where that should be. So where you've actually saved it, it won't look just like this, but you should have a bunch of these. If you have Photoshop installed, it'll look like that. But you should have .tga files, and then you just want to copy this link and then paste it in here, so you can see all these and basically drag them in, and it's a lot quicker. And then make it a new, and then opening the image. So what you want to do is have the default body, which should be the diffuse map. So I'm pretty sure while wow, this looks like it, this is going to be it. So obviously you should see now that this obviously looks not as good yet. But what we're going to have to do now is keep that as color. Okay, now you're going to want to get the, well, what do you call it, looking one. So you're going to want the underscore S texture. Yeah, drag this in as you did the last. And... And my blender crashed. That is fun. 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 Okay. <laughs> Guess I gotta read that. <laughs> so I accidentally pasted it on the head texture. So that is something you want to make sure you don't do. I guess that's a good example not to do. Uh, is accidentally paste it on the head. Because I accidentally pasted it on the head. So yeah. Now I fixed that. I easily just copy and paste. So yeah. As I said. I prefer the look of this than what roughness looks like. I think it looks too shiny, as you can see. That is, yeah, it's not good. It's a specular, looks a lot better. So now we're gonna get a normal map, which should be, should be this, one of these, this one, I'm pretty sure. They're both the same, but yeah. So you wanna get your normal map, your non color data, and then RGB curves. You can find it in here. We'll just write RGB curves right here. Okay, now you're going to want to go onto the green section. Remember this green. Move this to that side and this to that side. And then move color to color. And you're going to need to get the normal map node. This one right here. And then you're going to put color. Color to color. And then normal map to normal and that should look pretty good to be honest so now you've done that you're, you're good you're good to go now you're going to have to do is repeat that for the head and for the head the head uh, it should be where the textures are and the name should repeat the steps so uh, I'll come back to you when I've got the whole thing okay so now I've done the entire thing uh, as you can see, I've done it, but uh, I have changed the way the head works. As you can see here, uh, I have added a mission for the eyes, so they they glow. Basically, they glow. As you can see, with no lights on, they glow. You can do that. You can probably watch a tutorial for that. But pretty much, I'll show you the nodes. This is this is, has to be the same proportion as the head, and then have them. As you can see right here, they basically slot in the eyes, and then you put that over. And you can turn that up slider and then yeah clue so this is quite easy so yeah now you've done that you should have your full model and it actually should be fully ready to move and stuff you know what i mean so yeah these are bones and then obviously pose mode and they work pretty much the same as most ways you know you can move like that you can do whatever you want and you can also do custom textures so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you find this useful, um, yeah, it should be pretty easy to do, it should take you quite like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on, you know, how much you're doing, at, you know, array. so yeah, I hope to see your renders, I hope they look good, got any problems, comment section, enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe, and use code chimpxb on the front item store if you really want, so yeah. Enjoy.